Hey everyone, it's Jenny. I'm back with another project share. So this is actually, it turned into like a challenge, I guess, when um, I wasn't watching the whole live at the time it was live, but um, Christian, who is Christian's Crafty Adventures, hi Christian. So she did a um, tutorial, I don't know if it was on a, I think it was on a live, um, where she showed everybody how to make these really cute cups and the cool thing about it is you do not need a die or a cutting machine. Um, I think she was inspired by Amy L. And I think Amy used a cutting machine, if I'm not mistaken. But um, it, it always amazes me how different your projects can all look. It can be the same type of project, but it amazes me how different it looks just by the different paper you use or the theme you use or whatever. And so I just wanted to share with you what I ended up doing. So what was stopping me from finishing, I actually finished it pretty fast, um, but I didn't have the foam. And she suggested that you use like a thicker foam so that you, when you cut it, for your handle then it'll be more stable so i had to go to the store last night to go get some because i guess i or couldn't find it or i don't have any so um so anyway i was finally able to finish it just now and i wanted to share what i made so i did do the small and the medium i didn't have a chance to do the large one yet that large one is huge so um i'm not sure if i'm gonna do it or not i probably will but i just haven't i wanted to just finish these so I did use the Just Like Magic collection by uh, Frank Garcia and it's Disney inspired and I really love the colors of it so and I wanted to be able to use a lot of the embellishments that I've been die cutting um, you know from my stash and so I thought that this was a great way to use it so um, let's just start with this one so this is the smaller version the small I think this is called the small cup as you can see my glue is not very um, it doesn't look really nice, so I think it's probably best if I if I can't find a way to cover it Then I'll probably use like crinkle paper um, inside Anyway, so this is like um, this print reminds me of the small world castle I think that's what he was going for so I was gonna use some small world images that I have that are die cut but I think the colors are too harsh for this collection so I decided to just keep with the same color scheme and um, I had this rosette already pre-made from my stash. It's, it doesn't match really the collection in terms of the print, but the color did. And I'm having a hard time finding this color, believe it or not. I have so much cardstock, but I think I used it all. So I need to order some more. I got it actually from the plain one from Paper Tray Inks. So I'm going to have to um, place another order with them. And then um, after I put the rosette on it then I just added on the Mickey ice cream bar and it already had like the bow embellishment and so forth so that's how that one came out I kind of like it's kind of cute I kind of like that size actually so here's the other small one that I made and I was struggling because I couldn't find a rosette that would kind of match what I wanted to do and this one um, was using the balloon with the bows which is super cute and so I decided to try and mimic that a little by using the Mickey head balloons, which is a die that I got from AliExpress. And then I just glued, um, I just hot glued the string to the back of it. You can't really see it because the rosette is the silver rosette and the string I used was silver, but I wanted it to kind of all match. And then I added the bow with the Mickey head. So I tried to mimic, you know, the balloons with the bow, the balloons with the bow. So that's that one. And then the last one is the um, the larger, the medium size cup. And so this one, um, it's, although they're both four inches wide, I think, um, it's still way bigger. <laughs> I don't know how she ended up doing that, but um, so anyway, I, I did have some problems. This is just my prototype. So I did mess up on where I scored, see? But anyway, I just, I thought I, I didn't want to waste the paper, so I just decided to make it anyway. Um, so this one, I, I was looking for my dies and I couldn't find it. I finally found it after I already glued it. But I had die cut a bunch of these Mickey heads and they had the small castle, um, which I think I saved. I don't know where I put it, but um, I ended up cutting off that little castle because I wanted the bigger castle. 
and so but the blue paper is not as sturdy as um, like so I wanted to stack it a little bit luckily I had one of the glitter the silver glitter ones so I just glued it on top of there and so it's a little bit sturdier I wish I had more I wish I had my die so I could have cut maybe like about three layers but oh well that didn't work out so um, I also have a rosette in the back that's the same I think it's the same paper as this rosette here um, but it kind of matches that color scheme and then I glued I actually um, put some foam tape behind the castle so it would pop up a little from this Mickey head and then I added the bow here so that is how my teacups came out so she um, actually said that I guess the challenge is to make the teacups but also um, give it to somebody I think it's called a cup of kindness challenge so I'll try to remember to put the hashtag there and then that way anybody participating in that challenge you can go check them out and see um, what they ended up making now I don't know who I'm gonna give these to yet these may not necessarily be the ones that I give out because they were kind of my prototypes um, but I probably if I do give these out I'll probably just put some candy and a little note to the recipient um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be giving it to people at work or um, I might give it to people not in my department but to people who I've um, they're, they're kind of like my past students um, as a little bit of encouragement for them so again I'm not sure if I'm gonna actually do these I might do something maybe more Halloween I don't know um, I, it depends on what my mood is <laughs> okay well anyway I hope you join the challenge go check out Christian's tutorial because it is pretty easy like you really don't need a whole lot um, of um, supplies and um, and then you can again style up the cup how you like it okay well I will um, talk to you guys in the next video bye